an atheist. Hey, can I give you the word of God? Would you mind if I showed you how the Bible says you could know 100% sure you're going to have it? No, I don't believe in God. No, I don't believe in the Bible. And this is what he told me. He said, well, look, just pretend you do. Just pretend that you do believe in God. Just pretend that the Bible might be true. And just let me share with you what the Bible says you have to do to go to heaven. Would you, can I just share that with you just so you, you can know just for like intellectual reasons? Okay. And after he shared it with them, he said, hey, do you believe now? They said, yeah, I actually do. So that's just how powerful the Word of God is. You know, they can create belief, amen, create faith in somebody. Amen, bro. All right, turn to 1 Chronicles 11. 1 Chronicles 11. <clears throat> 1 Chronicles 11, verses 22 and 23. The title of my sermon is Be Like Benaya, or I've heard it Benaya. Um, or it could be titled, uh, Be a Mighty Man. In verse 22, it begins reading, it says, Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kebzeel, who had done many acts, who slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also, he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam, and he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. Benaiah Bene is one of my favorite characters because he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. I, that's going to be my son's name. If you take it, I'm going to be really upset. But Benaiah, he's one of my favorite characters, and he's one of David's mighty men. And so I, I can't go into all of David's mighty men. They did a lot of great things. But I'm going to basically just talk about that one thing that Benaiah did, because that's really all I had time for. And I'm going to try and apply it and show us how we can use that. But, but David's mighty men were used of God greatly. They brought great victories, and um, they were fierce in combat. There's one guy, I believe he slew 300 men just, just by himself. And obviously we're not, we're, our battle is not of flesh. I'm going to read Ephesians 6, uh, 6.10. It says, finally, may, or sorry, no, I'll, I'll get to that later. It, the thing is, is that our battle is not flesh. And the thing is, is we can't be like David's mighty men. I'm never going to go in and literally kill a lion in a pit. I'm just, I'm not that strong. But the thing is, is that we can be Jesus' mighty men. And the Bible says in Ephesians 6.10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We need to be strong in the Lord these men were strong for David. So in this, I mean, you can kind of, kind of apply this to what we need to be doing as Christians today is we need to be strong in the Lord. We need to go out. We need to go soul winning. We need to, you know, preach whenever we get the opportunity, be a ready scribe. And we need to, to work for God every opportunity that we get, every opportunity. And we need to count the cost, like CJ was saying. It's important that we become like David's mighty men, only we can become Jesus' mighty men. Now, obviously, we're not going to slay 300 in one day, but we might save 300 in one day. Amen. We might be able to do something like that for the Lord. Good. And you know what? The thing is that, that the reason I like the fact that he went down into a pit, he did it himself. He decided that he was going to go into this pit and he was going to kill this lion. And it was a snowy day. And I just want to prove to you really fast that our, our battle is not carnal. It says in uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 4, it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We are strong in the Lord whenever we go out soul winning, whenever we preach the word, whenever we pull down those strongholds that people have in their life, whether they're lost in the Jehovah's Witnesses, whether they're lost in their Mormons, we pull down those strongholds because God has given us his word and we are mighty through God that way, not killing 300 people in one day. Right. But the thing is, is that the reason I want to use this is because I think we can learn from Benea something I think all these men had in common. And if you would turn to 1 Peter 5, 1 Peter 5. I believe, I believe Benea had a lot of traits. I mean, if you look at... Uh, at the, the three mighty men, the, the, there's 30 total mighty men, okay? And there's probably more than 30 of us here today. 
So the thing is, is that if you want to be God's 30, okay, you're going to have to do some things, okay? You're going to have to be willing to go into that pit. You're going to have to be willing to go into battle. And there's a story, I mean, if you want to hear a story on the mighty men or a sermon on it, I think Pastor Anderson's preached one. Uh, Pastor Menes has preached one. I don't know if Pastor Manley's preached one. But they're great sermons. You can learn a lot from these mighty men. But it says in 1 Peter 5, it says in verse 8, Sorry, oh, I'm in 2 Peter. 1 Peter 5, verse 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in the brethren that are in the world. See, we're all going to, you know, I'm not going to go into a pit willingly, but we're all going to be in a pit one day. We're all going to face afflictions, like what this verse says, and you know what? We're all going to face a lion. Yeah. It's just a f- fact of the matter. Our adversary is described as a lion. Amen. Okay? And we're going to be in pits. You know, I don't, we go into the pit willingly when we go out to the ghettos and soul win. But personally in our life, we are going to be in pits. Okay? We're going to be, it's going to be hard sometimes to go soul winning. It's going to be hard t- sometimes to be at church. And, uh, you know, you might, might have not a lot of money. You might be sick whatever the case may be, but you're going to find yourself in a pit. And when you're in those pits, that's when the devil is going to want to eat you. Okay? He's going to want to devour you. And to be one of Jesus' mighty men, you have to face that lion mano a mano. You have to face that lion and you have to kill it. You know? Well, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill the devil, but we can at least face him. We can kick his teeth in. We can do whatever. But the thing is, is we have to, if we want to be mighty men for the Lord, we have to face that lion. And that lion could, could straight up make you fall out of church, could make you stop reading your Bible, could make you stop going soul winning. And those are the three things that I feel like are the most important. Stop fearing the Lord, whatever the case may be. But you're going to see that lion in that pit. And it says in 2, uh, uh, go to 2 Timothy. This is going to be my last, my last scripture. 2 Timothy. Four two, how much time do I have? Uh, three minutes. Oh wow! Second Timothy. Four verse two. It says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." Is there any question that Benea was in season, out of season? He went into a pit. I mean, it was snowing, and this man chose to go inside of a pit to fight a lion. You know, I mean, if I were to think about fighting a lion, I don't know if, I mean, I probably would want the lion to be in a pit just so it's not, you know, in its natural habitat. I don't know. I tried to think about it. But if I was going to face a lion, I would want it to be in a pit. But on a snowy day, I don't know about that. I don't know if I would want that. Either way, I think if I was really in a pit with a lion, I'd probably die. But, <laughs> but the thing is, is that we have a spiritual lion to face. We have a spiritual pit that we might find ourselves in. And we need to be instant, in season, out of season. That means when it's snowing out, you go soul winning. When it's hot out, you go soul winning. But also, you know, it could be in season, out of season for your particular life. Okay, so like, you know, I'm not going through something. Let's say CJ is going through something where he, he can't go out soul winning or he doesn't want to go out soul winning. He needs to be in season all the time. And he needs to go out soul winning no matter what he faces, no matter what he's going through in his life. You know, it doesn't always mean hot weather, cold weather, okay? It, it doesn't always mean, you know, when it's popular or unpopular. Sometimes in season, out of season means whenever you pull your pants up and you just go to work. Even when you don't want to, even though you don't feel like it, even though you're broke, you go out and you do it because that's what the Bible says. Amen. And, you know, the, see, the thing is, is we need to be Jesus' mighty men. And if we want to be Jesus' mighty men... We need to do these things in season, out of season. And that's what I believe we can learn from Benea, is that he faced that lion in the pit. It was snowing. And he did it because he had to. He went there and he did it willingly. And the mighty men will be instant in season, out of season. The weak will buckle in time of distress or, cold, or hot weather, or cold weather. They won't go soul winning. The mighty will go soul winning with no money. And the weak will skip due to fatigue or I'm tired, or I don't want to be here. And the mighty will, 
well, go to church when they have no job, when their job is on the line. They'll be here and they'll be doing the Lord's will. And the people, that's one minute. Oh, okay. And the, might, the, the, the mighty will go to church and be in church no matter what. The weak will fall out because of a sermon. They'll hear what Pastor Perry has to say and they'll just fall out because they're weak. They're not Jesus mighty men. And they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to be in, in season, out of season. They heard something that Pastor Perry said, and they didn't like it. And the mighty will always fight the lion, and the weak will be devoured. Amen. Okay, so my, my question to you, will you be devoured in a pit? Or will you take advantage of that pit and embrace the opportunity to kill the lion? Amen. Praise God. I always wanted to preach on that, but I never thought about that. It snow represents in season, out of season. That's good, man. I, I learned some on that. I did that. I got that from Pastor Andrew. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. willing, willing to go in a pit. You know, are you willing to go in a pit? If you're not willing.